Hi guys, I'm Jesse at Stropro.com and today I'm going to be showing you the Stropro 7 pound counterweight. Now you might be used to a sandbag where you throw it on your light stand to prevent that from falling over. This is just a cleaner option. It's a seven pounds of cast iron weight. And the cool thing about this, it stays nice and clean in its directional weight. So to apply this to the stand, it's really easy. We just back off this screw here and you're going to have this little bracket that's on the top. So you can see that there's just a big uh, bolt there sticking out. We're going to lift that straight off and there's actually a washer on the top. Now you're going to see a couple grooves right on the top here and those are designed, if I go down below here, to fit right over a stand like that. So this is only for like our Stropro 7, 9, 10 foot stands, also our 13, 16 foot booms. Anything that has this cross brace right here. Um, other stands like a C stand um, or some of our other like heavy duty stands, you're going to want to use a traditional sandbag and you can check those out on the website as well. But to attach this, it's really easy. You'll see the groove pieces there. All we're going to do is set that right on the leg. We'll put the weight right over here and all I'm doing is just bringing that bolt right up there, drop the washer back on and then screw the thumb screw down. Okay guys, the counterweight is on the leg here. It's always a good idea, kind of just like a C-stand, if you're gonna have a heavy load on this, to put the load against the leg that is weighted. Um, that's just gonna prevent any tipping a little bit easier. If we're just doing a lighter load, just like the strobe, it really doesn't matter where we're putting it. Um, it's got plenty of weight. You always wanna to point towards a leg though. You never wanna take the load, point it in between, like in between these legs here, because that's going to be a tipping point. As long as you're going on to one of these legs with a lighter load, it shouldn't really matter. But again, a heavier load, or if you're booming it, make sure that you go out to the leg that is weighted, that's gonna prevent the most tipping. So what's the difference between the counterweight that we have there and a traditional sandbag? Well, first off, I don't have the sandbag filled, just so I can demo it for you. A traditional sandbag is going to go through the leg like that and sit right here. So you can see right away that this stand is a little bit lower to the ground. So all that weight from the sand would actually be sitting on the ground. Now that does make a big difference. Um, it's definitely better than nothing, but the counterweight here has all the weight right on the actual stand. So nothing's being wasted on the ground. So with a sandbag, this would actually have space to come up like that whereas the counterweight, it's on there. We're not wasting any of that weight. It's right on here. We can slide it up and down as necessary and lock it into place. So one of the advantages of a sandbag is that if you're on location, so you're hiking out to a park or something, you can take a sandbag empty. You can go down to a riverbank or find a pile of gravel or sand somewhere and just fill it up with you. So you're packing this incredibly small if it's not filled. You can throw whatever you want to weight that right inside. So it's a little bit easier that way. Whereas the counterweight, it's just seven pounds. So you're gonna be taking that with you. It's never gonna be lighter than that. Um, but it is a little bit cleaner. So I tend to prefer having the counterweight in the studio. And then a lot of times I kind of actually like having a sandbag outside. So it's really your preference. Both are great options. Those are just kind of some of the differences between them. So there you have it guys, the Stropro 7 pound counterweight. This is a great investment and a little bit of insurance that doesn't cost a lot. It only takes one time for your light stand to tip over with a thousand dollar light on it and you'll wish you had it. Or even worse, your light could fall over and hit someone. So whether you're working in the studio with the counterweight or if you're going outside, it's a great option both ways. So check out all our light stand weights at Stropro. And until next time, I'm Jesse at Stropro.com.